I am uh, Chris Hertelier, uh, brewer of uh, the Dolle Brewers in Eastern Belgium. Hello Chris, uh, tell me the Dolle Brewers, how long are you uh, brewing here? Uh, we have started our first uh, official brew fi uh, November 15, 1980, so that's about 40 years ago. And at that time it was very unrealistic that to start a, a new brewery because all the breweries were uh, going down and taken over or stopped uh, simply. And then we took over an, an old brewery which has stopped uh, a year and a half without brewing. Uh, we had to restart the whole thing again and that uh, we are still using the, the equipment of, of that time. And uh, that time that means that uh, the brewery has been founded in 1835 has, but the, the brewer at the time died in 1882, has been officially sold, and that's the paper showing what was to sell there. And uh, <coughs> it has been bought by a certain Costanoble, uh, Louis, Aloysius Costanoble, and uh, uh, several generations have, uh, have uh, brewed here, and they have stopped in two years about, uh, before 1980 by brewing, but they were still selling other beers and doing things in, in beer. Yeah. Your first beers in your portfolio, what was the, the spirit in that? Traditional Belgium? Uh, no, we wanted to make uh, beers which were not existing. We did not make copies of anything. So uh, the first beer, we have tried three years in, uh, in home brewing. Uh, it was very primitive uh, <coughs> circumstances, a kettle which was a washing kettle with a wood fire and uh, it was copper and uh, we had a small English book uh, that uh, home brewing was more popular in England than, than it was here in Belgium. We, we didn't find uh, malt, ho uh, hops, yeah, uh, rarely and, and, and yeast was 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 not like, like now that you have shops where you can buy everything. Uh, we went to the maltery and then we said, uh, uh, we want to buy malt, that malt and that malt and that malt. And the maltery says, uh, what will you do with that? And I say, you can guess three times, we will make good beer. And that's our thing that we tried with different, different malts. And at the time we had the maltery in Bruges, but they, they have uh, stopped uh, already. Uh, they have stopped uh, maltery house. And now we find all the special malts in the maltery Dingemans in Antwerp. Yeah, okay. Um, in terms of uh, export, most of your beer is consumed here locally in West Flanders or in Belgium? In, uh, in Belgium we do 50% of the of the sales and uh, 50% go, goes uh, for export and the most uh, popular export country is the United States of, of America still. Okay. Then we have uh, recently Canada, then Italy as a traditional export country, Spain, Holland a little bit. Uh, uh, we have one pub don't have one pub but there's one pub in Japan who's selling our beer and who's uh, decorated with all the, the thing with the Urbier man and the name of the pub is Urbier man. And then we have uh, an, uh, <coughs> an importer in Taiwan and one in uh, South Korea as well. Is the, the Asian market something that you're more gonna conquer or is that recently in the last year? That's the last year but Taiwan was a, is rather traditional because it was a, a Flemish guy who imported uh, the beer there and now he it's, it's another person but it's still the same company who, who does that. Okay. Uh, what is the, the main challenges you have now these days here in the brewery? No, is to have uh, beer enough to sell because we have sometimes uh, yeah, short of beer. -y. That's the, the, the thing. Okay, nothing to do with COVID. No, it's like you. No, the COVID makes that our pub is, is closed now. But uh, if it's if you if the pub is closed, then it's a bit 
boring. It's it's no you, know, you don't see people and uh, but the people come from even far to buy to buy the beer and they they, they take a whole a whole stock of beer to uh, to take away. Is there any expansion possible to do here? Here, uh, not really, because we have uh, uh, <clears throat> the brewing capacity is uh, 50 brews per year, and one brew is about 3,000 liters per, per brew. So that's the maximum, and we do we try to do it between 40 and 50 brews per year. Last year we had uh, 42 brews, so even. We think that uh, even with COVID or, or not COVID, we will easily have that uh, 45 brews, I think. Yeah. Um, final question, your famous uh, Christmas beer. Can you tell us a little bit about that? How did you start producing that? Uh, the first beer was Urbeer here, and the second beer was Stellenacht Reserva, but Stellenacht uh, uh, Normal. But normal is is uh, uh, it's not really normal. We we wanted to make a very strong beer, which was uh, twelve percent, and that beer was uh, on the recipe of Ur beer, but stronger. So we boiled it longer. We did more malt, everything extra, and the result of that there was the, the problems. There were a lot of problems with fermentation. Fermentation did not uh, was not really happy with with that. And uh, <clears throat> we had a lagering of uh, one year because we have done tests and all the tests were negative and we didn't uh, arrive to, uh, to make it uh, refermented because it was too strong and too dense and too, it was too everything. And <clears throat> we have bottled that uh, with special bottles. We, we didn't, we had no, uh, we did special beer of the Dolobrovers and uh, the special beer was uh, brewed in uh, spring spring cork old-fashioned bottles but the refermentation did not work and we waited until the refermentation yeah, should happen and it, uh, it, did not, it did not at all and so there was a, a, a pub keeper from Antwerp, the Culminator, who came here from time to time I said, what, what are you going to do with, with, with that beer? I say, off, oh, well, not say it, it's flat. Uh, <clears throat> but the next time he came, uh, he says, what are you going with that beer? Oh, I'm not going to sell it, it it's flat. <laughs> but uh, he said, I will buy it. And we, we sold it at the price of our beer because we were so unhappy that it, it was flat. But uh, the quality was in and just the refermentation did not work and uh, but it worked six years later and he bought the whole the whole batch of, of, of uh, the Stellenacht with the white labels and after all it has been the, the best beer we ever brewed here and uh, but now he's out and we have just one bottle to 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 look at uh, here in the cellar and that uh, that was the pride of uh, of his pub, and uh, it was the the best beer ever we had here.